for this project came with the publication of a report by the Institute of Medicine in 2011, which talked about the health of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. And it was the first report of its kind. It really painted kind of a bleak picture. For adolescents in particular, research has consistently shown that these kids are at higher risk for bullying and substance use and high-risk sex behaviors, much higher rates of mental health issues and suicide attempts, really everything. And this report summed up by saying that what we know is just scratching the surface, and they issued a call for more research into why these disparities keep showing up. So what we're looking at here is protective factors, things that support kids and help them navigate a healthy path through their adolescence. And we want to figure out specifically what supports LGBT young people. We want to know what kinds of resources they turn to in their communities. We want to know what supports them in their schools. We want to know what messages they get about being LGBT. And once we understand what those supports look like, we'll figure out how to measure them at a community level. And then we'll match these community measures up with student survey data from Minnesota, Massachusetts, and British Columbia to test whether the availability of a variety of resources is actually associated with lower levels of substance use, high-risk sex behavior, and emotional health problems in the LGBT kids who live in these locations. Our study consists of three parts. First, we're doing something called a go-along interview with LGBT kids, where we walk or drive around their communities with them to see the places they spend time and hear about what it means to be a gay kid there. From those interviews, we're creating an inventory, which we'll use to assess the environment in about 120 different communities. Then, through website searching and short phone calls, we'll be able to give each suburb or each county or neighborhood a score for how welcoming or supportive it is for LGBT people. And then we'll be able to pair these community-level data with survey data from thousands of LGBT kids to test whether these features make a difference. Once we understand what works, we'd ultimately like to see it replicated so that LGBT kids in different settings can really benefit from supportive communities and schools.